Welcome to the Xilab eDiscovery Legal Review Online Training Series Auto Classification. Xilab's auto classification rules can automatically tag and categorize documents based on user defined criteria. To configure auto classification, click Configuration from the Legal Review home screen, then select Auto Classification. A matter can have numerous auto classification rules. For instance, a user could define email categories based on the domain found in the email from field. An example would be all emails from CNN.com, NewYorkTimes.com, or ESPN.com would be given the category News and Sports. And all emails from Amazon.com, Apple.com, Overstock.com could be categorized as retailers. If a facet exists, this data could be used to populate the facet, allowing a reviewer to quickly see categories of emails which may be useful or irrelevant. Simply click the rule to open the rule editor. For each rule, there are four sections, name, type, query, and when matches. There are two types of rules, intake and continuous. Intake rules are applied when documents have been processed and are entering legal review. During intake, a tag can be applied or a field can be updated. In this example, all emails to or from litigation counsel will be automatically tagged potentially privileged during processing. As a result, the first time a reviewer sees the documents, they will already have been tagged as potentially privileged. Unlike with an intake rule, which can be applied to either a tag or a field, only fields can be updated with a continuous rule. For example, in this rule, when a document is tagged as potentially privileged, the review category field will be updated to reflect the potentially privileged status. Using a continuous rule, you can update any field when documents initially come into the system and when the document changes. This type of rule is useful when you want to set certain fields to certain values based on criteria that change as the document goes through the review process. Note, however, to avoid overwriting of metadata, only fields which are known not to contain data should be chosen for auto classification such as the remark field. The query section defines the criteria for the rule. When creating intake rules, keywords, fields, tags, review status, and even save queries can be used. Only fields and tags can be queried to create a continuous rule. Select the plus sign to add a new auto classification rule. In this example, we will create a rule that if a document has been marked responsive, not privileged, and reviewed, the remarks field will be updated with the text ready to produce. Select Apply when complete. The right to create and configure auto classification rules should be limited to application administrators or advanced users who understand the impact these rules have on the data set. Note that depending on the size of the data set and the complexity of the query, use of auto classification rules could increase processing time or impact performance. When multiple rules apply to the same documents, the rule order is important. In case of a conflict, the first rule applied takes precedent and subsequent rules will not overwrite a previous rule. Additionally, Regularly used auto classification rules can be added to the legal review template to be used as a default for all newly created matters. For more information on Xilab auto classification or other Xilab features, please visit us at help.xilab.com.